Acceptance Month, many educators continue their efforts all year round. How the team at Behavioral Co. is breaking down barriers and encouraging acceptance through their caring instructional style. WIS News Primetime starts right now. Live from Columbia, South Carolina, this is WIS News Primetime. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for WIS News Primetime. I'm Greg Adeline. And I'm Hannah Burbank. Every weekday at 730, we'll be here to tell the untold stories of kindness, community, and hope across the Midlands. And tonight we take a walk through history, seeing how a staple Midlands tourist attraction celebrated reaching a major milestone in its history. Last week, we showed you a bit of how the Riverbank Zoo and Garden rang in 50 years of operation, but the festivities are rooted in half a century's worth of work and progress. Our Justin Walsh takes us back in time to when the zoo was just a mere thought and shows how the support of a community helped build it up to what it's become today. What started out as a mere dream for a few people hoping to spread some joy is now celebrating a 50-year impact on the community it was founded in. As of last week, the Riverbank Zoo and Garden has officially been welcoming attendees through their gates for half of a century, a Midland stable piece reflecting on the history that got them to this moment in time. Is it cliche to say we're at an event 50 years in the making? Because that's, that's what it is. Though this celebration has been 50 years in the making, it all began with an idea that sparked back in 1964, when a group of business owners set out to open a zoo for the children of Columbia to enjoy. Though the initial plan did fall through, a man called Stan the Tiger Smith acted as the ultimate driving force in making it all happen. As his namesake suggests, he purchased a tiger from a Chicago zoo. From there, Happy the Cub acted as a symbol of hope for the community to one day welcome a zoo of their own to the Midlands, and soon becoming a local celebrity. It was one of many ideas that people called crazy, but ultimately brought them here. The first director of the zoo, when he came in and decided to make it bigger, all of his things that he was expecting, they came to be. And it was, everyone thought he was crazy thinking that big, thinking that far ahead. And then now that's what it's all come to. A story with plenty of intertwining tales, all of which coming together to land riverbanks right here, celebrating 50 years. And after years of support to even get a zoo here in the first place, organizers had one goal in mind for this very celebration. We really wanted to give back to the community that has supported us. We couldn't be where we were today without them. So we wanted to have all these festivities out here. We got fun bands, DJs, bubbles, you name it. Mascots roaming all over, steel drums keeping up with the tempo of the festivities. And a look back through time to understand what it took to get to where it stands now. To hit 50 years is a huge milestone. Um, I just think of the thousands of lives and people that we've touched over the last 50 years. Thousands of lives, young and old, all who have walked through these gates and left with an experience like no other. For many, it's an experience that never gets old no matter how many times you purchase a ticket. Michelin Fida is one of the few who have seen Riverbanks grow from the very beginning. It was just excitement, you know, because, you know, you've lived here, well, since 65, when I was a little girl, and, and then you say, oh yeah, um, look at this, look at that. She tells me that watching the zoo grow up as she did at the same time is why she holds memories so near. Memories that she carries with her and passes on from generation to generation. When I came here 50 years ago, when I was 15 and a half, a, uh, a radio station, WCOS AM, Tracy Mitchell gave it to me. I was here with one of my, uh, well, um, one of seven, but they, um, nobody wanted one but me, <laughs> so I kept it. <laughs> but forever, I will be thanking him, you know, because my daughter wore it, my granddaughter wears it, and my grandson is seven. <laughs> She's dead. She goes, it's too tight. <laughs> Proof that a piece of history can still create new joy and new memories for those walking through the gates for the first time. And after asking Michelin if she ever tires of taking the same walk through all the exhibits, she had one thing to say. How many times do you go? At least 10 times. We get our money's worth from the Explorer Pass. And she is just one of thousands who have walked away from riverbanks, leaving with more than just a souvenir. 
So what's next? A history unfolding over the course of 50 years, and still so much room to grow. Organizers tell us that attendees can of course be on the lookout for new exhibits, further expansions, and a more immersive experience. But that doesn't mean you ever know what to expect the next time you make your way through. Just know that when they wake up tomorrow, that's the first day of the next 50 years. We start the new chapter in the next book. We start building forward, increasing our conservation efforts. And everyone who is here today, especially these little kids, when they're turning 55, 58, and it is the 100 year anniversary, then they're gonna be like, oh, my mom took me to the 50th anniversary. And you should see what it looked like then compared to what it looked like now. A truly wild legacy left behind with plenty more experiences still to come. Justin Walsh, WIS, News 10. Yeah, truly a world-class zoo right here in Columbia. And I'm looking forward to hosting the Riverbanks Run right coming around up the corner. on the 11th of this month. Yeah, you Absolutely. get to run through the zoo. Always a good time. Up close view. It's cool to see the legacy it's leaving, but also this is the start of the next 50 years. Yes. Lots more to come. But all right, it was maybe not the best day to go out to the zoo today with all that rain. But let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Adam Clark. Adam, can we expect more rain to come our way? Not as much. Yeah, we're just looking at a small.